Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Do you ever find yourself forgetting something? Like a memory just gone, disappears. It could be something small and insignificant like a song lyric, or it could be something more important like a password. Now, for most of us, it's usually not a problem. We can eventually remember it or look it up or find the sticky note where we wrote it down. But what about your project and its memory? Uh, in your project, in electronics, if a memory disappears, chances are it's gone, wiped out. That memory is no more. It has ceased to be. Now, of course, some data needs to be overwritten, like incoming sensor data. But other things, like a public key, once written need to stay written, even through power cycling. Well, for that, you need EEPROM. And that's why this week we're rolling out the new SparkFun Quick EEPROM Breakout. This little breakout hosts a CAT24C512 EEPROM, with that 512 at the end referencing the chip's 512 kilobit flash memory capacity, with a page write buffer of 128 bytes. Supply current is 1 milliamp reading and between 1.8 and 2.5 milliamps writing. And do you want to talk about reliability? This module is rated for 1 million program write cycles with data retention of 100 years. Seriously, we tested it. Wait until you see our upcoming blog post on hacking the Artemis Thing Plus for time travel. Of course, the dual quick connectors make it dead simple to add into your I2C project. At the back of this breakout holds half a dozen jumpers to do things like disable the power LED, bypass the 2.2K resistor, change the I2C address, and disable write operations to guarantee that your configuration keys are never altered. This breakout can be added to almost any microcontroller or single board computer, but it was designed with boards that lack their own EEPROM in mind, like boards that use the SAMD51. Now, I know we all love a good demonstration, so I'm going to do a quick demo here. First, I'll write to the EEPROM. There you go. It's there. Now, the really impressive part happens during power cycling. Of course, when I say power cycling, I'm not talking about what Tadej Pogachar and 183 other riders did over the last month in France. Those guys are beasts. Did you see that? Like Mark Cavendish at the end of stage 13, crushing through at the end to tie a 50-year-old record? Those guys are incredible. But I digress. Power cycling, turning off and turning back on your project, and maintaining what's in memory. So here we go. Power back on. And voila, that data is still there. Impressive demo, huh? Now, you all know the deal. We've got a sweet Arduino library and a Python package with half a dozen examples for you to use as a springboard to set you well on your way to fulfilling all of your non-volatile data needs in your project. So head on over to sparkfun.com and pick up your own SparkFun Quick EEPROM Breakout. And you can probably say it with me now. Be kind, stay safe, and happy hacking. But it was designed and made with something in mind. Next. Oh, yeah. OK, OK, here we go. Getting back on track. With boards that lack their own EEPROM in mind. Ta-da. Ta-da.